Hey guys, what's up? This is Sama here and today I'll be showing you top jailbroken widgets for notification center on iOS 5. So, let's get started. Alright guys, to get these widgets you will have to add some sources to Syria, so I'll put them below so you can just go to manage sources then you can add them and you'll see the list of widgets in your Syria library. So let's get started with the first one. The first widget that I'll be showing you is called UI settings which is right here and you can download it from Syria by the same name. So if I just slide down from the bar from the notification center you can see that it gives you quite handy options right there. So you have Wi-Fi which you can turn off and you can turn on again if you want. Also you have Bluetooth which you can enable or disable then you have location you have airplane mode and also these two are the best ones if I just uh, press it you'll see that it gives you the option for brightness which is really handy you don't have to go to settings every time you need to turn um, low or high your brightness also this one is really good same case as brightness and also you can see that there's respring uh, you can kick your device into safe mode you can power off or reboot which I'm not even going to try because this is a tested jailbreak so this is really quite handy tweak it's not as handy as SP settings because it doesn't give you that many options but still if you're looking for quite attractive and a useful tweak go and download it from Syria so the next one that I'll be showing you is called quick note which can be also downloaded from Syria from the same name so what this actually allows you to do is that if I just slide down you can see that there is another bar added and so essentially it just allows you to add quick notes to your notification center so that every time you slide down you see it right there and uh, it's just useful to remember uh, I already wrote this note so subscribe me and follow me on Twitter as you can see here so also uh, just to add a note you just need to I'll just remove all of this so once you remove all of this you can write anything like hello or hello whatever or so when you write it uh, the done button doesn't really work for me so I just press this button home button and it goes back so every time when you will put it down you will see your note there so it's really quite handy and it helps you to remember everything that you need to remember <laughs> essentially yeah and this the next one uh, that uh, the next one that I'll be showing you is only stat widget so I'll just turn that on and now if I just slide down actually this is one of my favorites so here you can see that it, it gives you the name of the iPod the host the Wi-Fi IP it gives you battery percentage also it gives you RAM usage so it's really nice I can for example tap and it'll free some RAM as you can see here I'll just let it do it now so if you just see on the free section it is removing some background applications and it takes quite a bit of time but it's quite handy so I'll just let it do it oh it's still not done <laughs> alright so now it's done and if you just swipe one more time you can see that all the processes that are running in your um, on your iPod or any iDevice and also this is one of the best because you will need your UDID for some jailbreak, jailbreak tweaks so you can just copy it and it just copies your UDID you can see the name of my iPod, my model, operating system, build, storage, uh, free space and used so you can also see that there is a really nice icon so I can just click it and it asks you if you want to enable airplane mode you can disable Wi-Fi you can enable Bluetooth and disable location and also the next one I can kill background apps I can restart springboard reboot or shut down and there's also an i button so if I just click that it um, I think it gives you the Facebook and Twitter pages for this dev so you can go ahead and follow and like his page on Facebook and also you can donate alright guys so the next one that I'll be showing you is SB Center widget so I just enabled it and if I just go to my notification center now you can see that it gives you these three options and I actually like it a lot because it's ju it just feels natural like iOS 5 and it doesn't f just feel like jailbreak tweaks so I can just slide it to respring I can slide to reboot and I can slide to power off this is one of my favorites so uh, go ahead and download it from Syria so the next one that I'll be showing you is neon cat widget so I'll just turn it on and no notice what happens when I bring down my notification center there you go you have the awesome cat there 
And not only this, but there's a surprise. So look what happens when I tap it. Alright, so that's enough. So, um, this is actually also really nice. If you like Neon Cat, you can go ahead and download it from Cydia. The next one that I'll be showing you is called SP Settings. And of course, this is one of my favorites because it's just awesome. And I've been using SP Settings since it came out. So, there you go. And it, it looks really nice as you can see here. You have airplane mode, Bluetooth, brightness. I don't know what this is, I think this is for iPhone, then you have your processes and there is Wi-Fi. Also you can click on more, so it goes to the SP setting options, which are these. And you can refresh, you can drop when, so look what happens when I press this button. Boom, it goes up. And also you can restart, uh, uh, actually respring and power off your device. The next widget that I'll be showing you is Slide Center. So I'll just go ahead and enable it. And this is also one of my favorites because when I just swipe down, you can see that it shows you the camera roll pictures, which you can see here for some time. And this is really nice because it's just amazing and it looks really nice on your uh, notification center. And it is quite fast. I haven't found any bug with this. So this is a must download. I'll just let it play for some time. There you go and it works very smooth with the notification center and there is no lag at all. So go ahead and download it. I have actually found how to press the done button. So once you are done typing your notes and the quick note widget, you can just type random stuff. So I was actually trying to press it but now what you have to do is that you need to hold it and this will be done and the note will be added. So this was just a bit of correction to my video. If you like the video, like it. If you have any questions, comment in the comment bar below. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter because I just started Twitter like a week ago. And yeah, it's Sama signing out. Peace.